Vishal just went around and said, okay, I'm going to do a headstand. Who wants to take a bet? So people started putting money that he couldn't do it. And Vishal, of course, did that headstand. I had that on my camera, but somewhere I have to locate it. What was this obsession with headstands? When did you first start doing it? I think it's it's not the obsession with headstands. It's the obsession of doing something which people believe you can't inherently do. You know, there is this mold everybody has been put into that you have to be an MBA to be able to do business. You have to be from IIT to be able to build a technology company or Mm -hmm. you have to be from, you know, X to do Y. There are these molds people are always put into. And in my case, I'm a college dropout. I never really studied. If you look at me, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not that, you know, physically fit that people will think I can do that. I don't have a yoga body as they put it. So I think, you know, people always used to say that, hey, you know, yeah, I know you can run, you can do marathons and all that, but can you do a headstand? So I was challenged a few times that I can't do it. And uh, I have this belief that you can do anything. It's here first. You have to mentally decide that you can do something and then everything else, your your body, everything else will, will eventually take care of itself. And that's what happened when I started learning headstats. The most important thing, you know, what I learned in doing a headstand, what is the most important quality? It's coming over the fear of falling. It is not anything else. It's not about having the physique or the muscle. We all have that more or less. But the fear of falling is what stops you from doing these things. Any kind of, you know, inverted uh, inverted exercise. And to learn that, you need to fall a million times. And that's what I am really good at. You know, I'm really good at failing and <laughs> failing and failing. Maybe try doing a headstand and fell a hundred times till I could comfortably do it. And I became so good at falling that I don't even now need a surface to do headstands. I can do it on a road. Normally, people have to put, you know, mats and pillows and they kind of have a soft surface. But because my whole training was done from falling again and again, I I don't have that fear at all. So that was really the the secret behind doing something like this. And that's what I tell people that just because somebody tells you you can't do it, don't tell yourself you can't do it. 